In this video, we are gonna be talking about the golf swing, continuing to build it from start to finish. We are on P2, position two, and that is the takeaway. Let's get after it. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you. Little lighter, you know what? It's getting inside. We gotta shave the beard off a little bit, but we are still gonna be able to talk about the golf swing. Maybe the one of the more important parts of the golf swing, you know, besides maybe impact, is the takeaway and because how it sets up the rest of your golf swing. So very important video today, and we're gonna be continuing on and showing you how this blends into the rest of your swing. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. Also, make sure you check out our series about our sim setups, people are sending in their requests. Hey, this is the dimensions I have. Will it work? We're setting them up here in the studio, testing them out, giving you an idea, and hopefully helping you make a better, more informed decision when you're purchasing your sim setup. So don't miss out on that. Today, we're talking about P2. That is the takeaway. Really important part of the swing. I think you see a lot of people, you know, Ricky Fowler, Justin Thomas come to mind where they rehearse the takeaway as part of their pre-shot routine. They know how important it is to set up the rest of their golf swing and i think a lot of golfers get this part incorrect so we're going to head out to the simulator bay let's talk about p2 the takeaway all right so we're talking p2 in the golf swing so let's define what p2 is so p2 and the golf swing is when the club gets parallel to the ground again an extremely important position because this is setting us up for the correct sequence of events to happen later on in the golf swing, and we will get more into that, okay? I find that if people get the takeaway correct, a lot of the things further along in the swing really start to come together, and there doesn't need to be as much focus there. That would be an ideal situation. You just work on something very simple, everything else happens. Now, not always the case, but we do hope that that would happen, and we have to think about less when we go out and play, that would be a dream scenario. Now, P2 is getting the club back to parallel. So what do we like to see when we are taking that club back? So we take our setup, which by the way, if you haven't seen our address video, P1, make sure you go watch that. You wanna get nice and balanced. I'll talk about why that's a problem here and how that can affect your takeaway. So when I get myself set up, what would be kind of the ideal takeaway that I like to see? Okay, when we bring the club back, if I'm starting at a dress, I'm gonna have my hands, I'm usually gonna put a circle around the hands, and that's just from the down the line camera. I'm gonna see that when we bring it back, I want those hands to stay in that circle that we've drawn. Now, the other thing I like to see is when we get to P2, I like to see the club head in that circle if it's not in the circle, it's maybe slightly behind or it can be a little bit outside. I'd rather not see it way behind. I don't like to see it super outside, but if you're airing in this part of the swing, typically we'd like to see it a little bit more outside and that's for some different reasons we'll talk about later in the swing. Now, what do we typically see that's gonna make that happen or make that not happen? The biggest issue people have is they're gonna see that they roll the takeaway in, okay? Now, a lot of times that is because they're thinking, hey, I've gotta swing from the inside, I've gotta get everything swinging inside so I can swing outside to the ball, try to draw it, things like that, and we'll see that that doesn't work really well throughout the swing. Now, the other thing is people have been told, hey, I don't wanna swing it and roll it inside, so they're like, all right, I gotta get more vertical. Then what they do from there is, they just lift their hands and arms, okay? That's not gonna work either. We want a mixture of getting the club to be vertical, but we need our hands traveling inside so we can get the golf club to swing back outside. So what do we like to see? If I'm gonna keep my hands in that circle, what I'm actually gonna feel is my hands working more in, okay? I'm not rolling the club in because that sends my hands out. I'm actually rolling my hands in, which feels like the club's gonna stay more outside, okay? That's gonna be important as we continue on in the swing, but getting this feel is huge. You're gonna feel like your hands in this part of the, uh, part of the swing is going to just be kind of hinging the club straight up, just like this. So you're gonna bring it back, get the club somewhere around here, 
and all that's really that you're really feeling like happens with your hands is they just hinge it up a little bit something like that so my favorite drill to do to actually nail this position is just take one hand my trail hand so for me that's my right hand just bring it back get to p2 there we go and then grip it okay get there grip it if i want to i can go ahead and swing and hit it from that position just to get a feel for how that's going to work but getting into that correct p2 is going to be huge now if you don't have your address correct this can pose some issues so let's say again one of the biggest issues i see is people that are too far out reaching for the golf ball okay when you go back that club is going to naturally want to balance out and it starts rolling inside okay if you're too close which is very very rare i think about maybe the closest person to the golf ball is jim furick you get in really close you're typically going to want to go up a little bit more and go through the swing that's again a very very rare problem that we see but working on your takeaway i think if you get to this point where you can get the club taken away you're going to be in really good shape now face on view what do we want to see very simple here as we're working it back into our p2 okay all i want to see is that our body has worked a little bit so i would like to see if i look at my shoulders and i go to p2 i like to see about 20 30 maybe 40 degrees of shoulder turn by the time the club gets to this position that means you're using your body to help take it away it's just not all arms that's just something we like to see. Other than that, from this position, at this point in the swing, we really aren't gonna see a whole lot on this face-on view that, you know, again, if it looks out of place, it's because usually a lot of things have moved. We should see it be very quiet at this point, and then we would continue on from there. All right, so that's the takeaway, P2. Again, extremely important. You can see how if your end goal in your swing is to get to a certain position, that desired maybe shallowed out position, or if you're trying to hit a draw, what you do here in the takeaway is going to be really critical because that gets you set up on a good hand path. It's also gonna get the club and the center of mass of the club in a really good position. Those are two very, very desired things because again, as you start to transition, you're gonna Gonna want certain things to happen that need to be set up earlier in the golf swing so if you have any questions make sure you click that subscribe button if you have any questions make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure you click that subscribe button do not miss out on the rest of the series where we connect the dots of all these positions as we mentioned in video one all of these positions they tend to kind of blend together and even though we're going step by step we are going to start blending them together showing you how one will affect two and two will affect three etc so that's our goal we want you to be able to connect the dots build a better golf swing so you can shoot lower scores make sure you don't miss out on it thanks everybody for watching we'll catch you in the next video peace